why sport is bad. So right off the bat, I just wanna make one thing clear. While I am saying that sport is bad, exercise is great for you. I would know. I'm mostly going to be talking about the sports fans in this video because they are easily the worst part and there's a lot I want to get off my chest regarding those things. Also, I will be referring to soccer or football constantly because that's the sport that aggravates me the most. Brutality. Okay, so we all know that the Roman gladiators and their Colosseum battles were nothing short of fucked up. Encaging people and watching them attack each other senselessly from the outside is obviously inhumane and somewhat sadistic. And we should all be happy that brutality such as that doesn't exist anymore, right? Well, what the fuck do you call this? The lack of brutality. If you are going to cry, at least get hurt first! This guy, for example. I can respect his tears. Good job, buddy. Good job. Fans, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, I'm gonna be completely transparent on this from the very beginning. It's okay to be passionate. Hell, being passionate is one of the greatest things about being human. Embrace that shit, man. However, it is not okay to be a fucking maniacal psychopath. You know who you are, and fuck you. Let's start by commending those sports fans who are not irrational nutjobs. Good fans. Now a good sports fan is someone who isn't blinded by unreasonable attachment to a meaningless game. You know, the stable ones, the ones who don't get upset after their favorite team loses the match, the ones who see a sport as an enjoyable or entertaining game and nothing more. The ones who function properly as a human being! The bad fans. This shit actually blows my mind, right? Some people, after experiencing something they perceive as negative in a sports match, will go so far as to resort to violence. What the actual fuck, huh? A sphere filled with air hits this net more times than this one? Poor you! What's worse is that this isn't just some heated scuffle in a family's living room. This sort of devastation has led to full-on goddamn street riots. That's some crazy ass stuff, right? It somehow gets even worse. Some sports fans have resorted to suicide as a means to deal with a loss of a game they didn't play. Played by people they don't know. Against other people they don't know. On a much lighter note, some grown men will sit there in the stadium and sob like the miserable, blubbering little balls of wasted testosterone they are. Look at this. If you can look me in the eyes and tell me that this is reasonable. You're a moron. Actually, come to think of it, I shouldn't use such triggering language towards such sensitive little souls. I do apologize. There, there. Ugly fans. Crash, this joke wasn't funny the first time. Fans. Just because you've played FIFA, NBA, NHL, etc., and know some of the players' names, it doesn't make you a fan of the sport by default. Don't act like it does. This is how it makes you look. Don't look like this. Salary. We all know that athletes get overpaid. It's nothing new. So with that in mind, let's play a game. Guess how much money this guy makes every year? And what about this guy? And this guy? All three of these people get over tens of millions of dollars per year. And so does this guy. Who the fuck is this guy? Obscurity. The Olympics is home to a wide array of sports, some of which none of us even know the existence of. Anyone here a diehard fan of steeplechase? Dressage or ra race walking? Anyone? Didn't think so. Conclusion. I think it's quite easy to say that I'm a little worked up over this. You could say that I simply despise sport and the people who play it or enjoy viewing it, but maybe I just think these things because this is me literally every day. In summary, here is why I believe sport is bad. You might become one of these. The end. Follow Culture Crush on social media! Like and subscribe for more! If you would like to support the show, then head on over to the Culture Crash Patreon page where you can receive rewards for your support. Every bit counts.
crash. Go to the privacy of your bedroom if you want to watch that filthy smut. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they